Hey there guys, Robert here, and welcome to Lego History. For this episode, we're going to have a look at Petco, the Atlanta Hawks, and the Angry Beavers. Let's start with Petco. Here's the short by those of you who don't know what Petco is. It is an American retail and pet store industry founded in 1965. Their headquarters are in San Diego, California. They currently have 1,500 locations. Its key person is Ron... I'm oh, sorry, its key person is Ron Coughlin, CEO, and they currently have 25,000 employees, and their website is Petco.com. So, let's take a look. Um, no thanks. You know that, that looks cute, though. Who let the dogs out? Woo! 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 Who let the dogs out? Woo! Who let the dogs out? Okay, I'm kidding. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to. I really, really had to. But guess what? Who let the cats out? Woof. I mean, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Who let the cats out? Meow. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. I had to. Last day, $30 off and $100 plus free shipping. Promo code SAVE30. Shop now. Wow! Time to eat some dog food. I'm I'm kidding. I'm I'm not eating dog. I'm not eating this dog food. That's disturbing and disgusting. <laughs> uh, hey! When did you learn to drive? <laughs> yeah, there, there there was this vine where this where this guy asked this dog, "When did you learn to drive?" <laughs> It's a reference. It's my reference. <laughs> and now without further ado, let's get started. Uh, okay, this is what I'm going to be doing from this episode on and for the future of this series. From uh, from this episode on, uh, after a year and a half, I'm going to be putting, like, what logo is it? First, second, third, fourth logo, as well as the description of the logo. So that's what I'm going to be doing from this episode on. But um but if you don't want me to do this, I can make some changes. So I always love some feedback. So uh, let me know in the comments if you like the way I'm doing my episodes now. It's I'm just typing it instead of mentally describing it in my, in my head and then telling you what it is straightforward. I just I just write the description. So yeah. So 1979 to 1987. Uh, so this is the first logo. The word Petco is in red text and inside a beige background. Also, the letter E is small is smaller than the rest of the letters in that same word. So see that letter E right here? It's smaller than the letters PTCO. 1988 to 2011. Uh, this is the second logo. Uh, the word Petco is in red text. Also, in black text, we have the words, where the pets go, which is their slogan. Also, next to the letter O in the word Petco, we have, we have a blue cat and a red dog right next to each other. You just your kiss! Ask the movie reference. Uh, also, the, the words, where the pets go, is their slogan, so yeah. 2011 to the present. Uh, th uh, this is their third logo. The word Petco is in red text and in a different font. Also, unlike the last logo, all the letters in that word are lowercase. Also, the blue cat and red dog that are next to each other are slightly more spread out from the letter O rather than being close to that letter. And this is the version with the slogan, Where the Healthy Pets Go. So, so I don't think that the slogan dropped from the logo just yet because it didn't. Also, the cat and the dog look different in the uh, slogan logo than the current logo. Next we will move on to the, sorry, next we will move on to the Atlanta Hawks. Here's a short by those of you who don't know who the Atlanta Hawks are. They are an American professional basketball team that plays for the NBA. They also play for the Southeast Division in the Eastern Conference. It was founded in 1946 as the Buffalo Bisons. Later that year, they changed their name to the, to the, wait, hold on. Is it, tri oh my god. It's a typo. It's not Shriek City Blackhawks. It's Tri-City Blackhawks. 
Come on, I'm gonna make a typo. Later that year, they changed their name to the Tri City Blackhawks. Or City Blackhawks. Uh, in 1941, they. Oh my god. In 1951, they changed their name to the Milwaukee Hawks. In 1955, they changed their name to the St. Louis Hawks. And in 1968, they changed their name to the Atlanta Hawks. It is mainly sponsored by ShareCare. Sharing is caring. Huh. Their president and general manager is Travis Schlenk. Their head coach is Lloyd Pierce. And so far, they have won one championship, four conference titles, and five division titles. Uh, decent, I guess. Well, at least they tried. And their website is www.nba.com slash hawks. <laughs> so let's take a look. Okay, so the Hawks versus the Kings. Friday, November 8th at 7.30 p.m. Also, tomorrow... It, so tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday is is uh the the show sing the show competition sing at my school. Uh, I'm not in it because I was not interested, but maybe I should go try it in my junior year next year. Let me know in the comment section. So yeah. Oh, look at that dribble! Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. Jabari Parker notches team high twenty three points. Okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna go scroll through this website because, you know, everybody, everybody wants to see the history of that logo. Also, we're already six minutes into the, actually seven minutes into the video. And now without further ado, let's get started. 1946 to 1951. So, this is the first logo. There is a cyan basketball with black laces and black outline. Inside that basketball, there are the words Moline, Rock Island, Illinois, Tri Cities Blackhawks and Davenport, Iowa in black text. So you see those words there? And again, um, if you don't like the way I'm doing these uh, episodes with the subtitles for you know description of each logo, let me know in the comments and I'll make some changes. Uh, 1951 to 1955, there was a light blue and black hawk shooting a black basketball with, with light blue laces into a light blue basketball hoop. There are also the words the Milwaukee sorry, there are also the words Milwaukee Hawks in front of the hoop. And I forgot to put it in the description. It's in um, black text with cyan drop shadow. 1955 to 1957. Um, this is this is the this is their third logo. There is just a dark purple hawk holding a white basketball with dark purple laces and outlined with his feet. So yeah, there's nothing much else to say about that. 1957 to 1968. Now, this is one of my favorite logos for that for the team. Uh, so this is their fourth logo. There is a white human-like hawk with red outline holding a white basketball with red laces. On its muscle shirt, the word hawks is shown in red text. Below the hawk, there are the words St. Louis Hawks in red text. So you see that? That hawk looks so freaking human. <gasps> Just like all of us! Oh my god! 1968 to 1969, this is their fifth logo. Uh, this is the same as the fourth logo, but the hawk is now black and white instead of red and white. The word St. Louis Hawks from the previous logo have been dropped from the logo because they changed their name to, to the Atlanta Hawks, which is their current name. Also, the hawk was slightly tilted and the tail of the hawk got longer than the previous logo. His other foot can be seen very clearly. So, see the difference here? Uh, 1969 to 1970, this is their sixth logo. The face, arms, hands, legs, feet, and basketball are white with red outline. Also, the muscle shirt that the hawk is wearing is white with blue outline. Wow, he's a good dribbler. And this is the alternative version. Uh, 1970 to 1972, this is their seventh logo. Uh, so there is a green circle with blue outline with a blue hawk inside of it. Next to that, there are the words Atlanta Hawks in blue text. Pretty cool, huh? 1972 to 1974, 
1972 to 1995. This is their eighth logo. There is a red circle, but the white hawk with red eyes and red outline is peeking into the circle to make the circle not even a full circle. So it's not, so it's the circle is not even a full circle. Excuse me. Below that, we have the words Atlanta Hawks in red text. And this is the icon version. 1995 to 2007, this is the ninth logo. We have a red hawk holding a basketball with its, with its claws. Above the hawk, there are the words Atlanta Hawks in red text. Also, I forgot to tell you, know that I'm only doing the descriptions for the original Logo History series and now Logo History 2. Just giving you a head, heads up. And this is the icon version. Actually, this icon version was used from 2001 to 2007. 2007 to 2015, this is their 10th logo. This is the same as the 9th logo, but the hawk's wings are red and blue instead of red and black. Its claws are silver and blue instead of yellow and black. Its tail is blue instead of black. The basketball that the hawk is holding is now silver with blue laces instead of orange with black laces. And the words Atlanta Hawks are now, are now in blue text and in a different font instead of red text. Uh, I, let's add the word in. Just made a slight typo in the in the description. Okay, that is much better. We yeah. And uh, 2007 to 2014, this was their icon version. And uh, 2015 to the present, this is their 11th logo. This is probably the, uh, this is their current logo. Uh, there was a red circle. Inside that circle, we have a white circle with the words Atlanta Hawks Basketball Club in white text. There is also another white circle with a white hawk inside. Oh yeah, yeah, white hawk inside. I, I, I thought it was, it was a red hawk for a second. Um, overshadowing the other white circle in the center. Okay, cool. And this is the alternative version. Actually, the icon version. And finally, we will move on to one of my favorite shows from Nickelodeon ever. It's the Angry Beavers. Here's a short bio so you don't know who the Angry Beavers are or what the Angry Beavers was. It was an American animated sitcom that first aired on April 19th, 1997. The show ended on June 11th, 2001. My older brother, Louis, is in the Navy. He was born in 1997, but he was born July 5th, 1997. So he was born like, like about, I would say like, you know, like three months, I guess, after, you know, the show aired. Uh, and the show ended on June 11th, 2001. It was created by Mitch Shower. <laughs> it says Shower, or was it Scour? It was, it was developed by Mitch Scour and Keith Ka Kaxarek. The creative director was Michael Gerard. It featured the voices of Richard Stephen Horvitz and Nick Bacay. The theme music composer was Charlie Brissett. And throughout its four years of airing, they have aired four seasons and 63 episodes, which was 123 segments. And the website is... Okay, I'm not even going to mention it. Because it, because I know this website is not going to show the Angry Beavers on there. And now without further ado, let's get started. 1994, uh, this, was the pilot, this was the logo for the pilot, and, their, and this is their first logo. There was a wooden mailbox that almost looks like a wooden mallet. On that mailbox, there are the words, The Angry Beavers, in dark brown text. There's also snow on top of it and icicles below it. Pretty cool. Uh, and 1997 to 2001, this is their second logo and probably the last logo for the show. Uh, so this is their second logo. The word, the, is in black text. See that here? Uh, there are also the words, Angry Beavers, in red text with teal outline. There are also the two main characters peeking out of the light blue circle with green outline. I forgot what both of the characters' names are because I don't watch the show that often now. Uh, but I first watched it in like, I, I first watched it years ago. Not like in the 2000s, not even the 1990s. I wasn't even born in the 1990s. I watched it like about eight years ago and I haven't watched it in like forever. So I forgot the characters. I think this one is Norval, and I forgot the other one. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section. Uh, all right, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History. Uh, also, if um, like if you um, if you 
if you like what you're seeing for this episode and future episodes of the series, like from now on, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be adding subtitles, you know, descriptions of each logo instead of, you know, telling you without descriptions. So, uh, and let me know in the comments if you like that because I'm totally, I'm totally thrilled for some feedback. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode, guys. Oh, wait! I didn't do Requested Logo Wednesdays yesterday. Today is the lo today is the makeup for Requested Logo Wednesdays. And what time is it now? It's 9.44, and it's, it's, it's late. Oh, my goodness. Also, if you're wondering why I'm doing this episode late, I was too busy with homework, and yeah. So, anyways, um... Uh, there's one requested logo today because I forgot to do a uh, requested logo Wednesdays yesterdays and I promised I would do it as makeup and I'm I'm doing it right now. The logo that'll be in this episode will be 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. This logo was requested by Gabriel Centron. So if you want to subscribe to his channel, the link to his channel will be in the description down below. Here's the short by those you don't know what 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment was. I mean is. It is a home video industry founded in 1976. Their headquarters are in Los Angeles, California. Their website is movies.disney.com slash watch dash at dash home. So let's take a look. Oh, 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 I'm not getting a copyright claim, no. Oh my god. I almost got a copyright claim. The circle of life. <laughs> you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. A whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. And I forgot one of the songs from Dumbo. Damn it. Oh, they got 101 Dalmatians. I love that movie. Screw you, Cruella de Vil. You suck. <laughs> oh boy, that's 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 Bambi. Um, I'm kind of neutral over this movie because some people love it and some people hate it. Wow, they got Wreck-It Ralph. They got all those Disney movies. But now we gotta move on. We're already 17 minutes to the video and it's already getting long. And I can't believe it's it's late now. I'm sorry, viewers. Don't unsubscribe to me just yet. I'll try to make videos early this time tomorrow. Even though I have school tomorrow. And now without further ado, let's get started. Uh, also, there are two parts to this logo. Let's start with the domestic or North American variants. 1995 to the present. There is the current 20th Century Fox logo with the words Home Entertainment on the bottom inside this black square. Now, the reason why I say the current 20th Century Fox logo is because... um. Because uh, I did this like a year and a half ago. I did 20th Century Fox already a year and a half ago in episode 10. And these are five other versions. Uh, 2010 to the present, this is the second logo for the first part. Uh, this is the same as the first logo, but the words Home Entertainment on the other side of the logo. Also, unlike the first logo, there are three spotlights instead of two spotlights. And yeah. And this is the colored version, which is probably better than this one. And finally, we will move on to the international variants. This is the last part for that. 1995 to 2006. Uh, this is the first and only logo for the international variant, I think. Um, there's the current 20th Century Fox logo with the words Home Entertainment in black text on the bottom inside this white rectangle with black outline. Alright, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History, and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Oh, yeah, and these are two other versions. I forgot about those. Sorry about that. Stay tuned for episode 592, Lowe's, the Toronto Raptors, and As Told by Ginger. Also, tomorrow will be the last episode with an NBA logo. So after tomorrow, there will be no more NBA logos. Aw. But, if any of those NBA teams change their logos or something,
then let me know in the comments and I'll make a remastered version of whichever logo changed their logo. Whichever NBA team changed their logo, I'll do a remastered version on. But for now, there are no more NBA logos after tomorrow. So yeah, bye guys. Bye for now.